first step, go to the web browser and type zoom.us. And then, makikita nyo dyan, merong join a meeting and host a meeting. And then, my account. So, let's click my account. If you want to make a schedule, so just click schedule a meeting. And then, marami dyan mga kailangan nyo i-encode. Just like topic. Ano ba ang topic mo for that meeting? Okay, example is emergency meeting. And then, the description, it is optional. It depends on you if you want to put or to encode your description about your meeting. And then next is when. When are you going to conduct your meeting? Okay, and then let's go now to time. So, dito sa time, every 30 minutes, meron kayong pwedeng pamilian. So, just like 12.30, 1 o'clock, 1.30, 2 o'clock, 2.30. And then, you can also choose if it's a.m. or p.m. And then, duration. How many hours ba conduct ang inyong meeting or iyong conference? Okay. So, like for example is 5 hours. You can also choose if it's like, for example, 30 minutes or whatsoever. And then, time zone. Uh, so, usually, it is Hong Kong, Taipei, Kuala Lumpur, and Singapore. Okay, now, it's recurring meeting. So, what does it mean? In case na magkaroon ka ulit ng another Zoom meeting, pwede mo ulit magamit yung passcode mo or password and then yung meeting ID. And then, meeting ID you can choose generate automatically or personal meeting. Okay, next is security. You can change your security passcode. Depende yan sa iyo kung anong gusto mong passcode. And then, waiting room. Only users admitted by the host can join the meeting. Ito yung once na open na yung link, nasa waiting room ka. Titingnan kasi ng host kung part ka ba ng meeting na yon. And then video, you can choose on or off. And for the host and for the participant, meeting options, allow participants to join anytime. Mute participants upon entry. So you just click or tick the box kung anong setting ang gusto mong gawin. Okay, click save. So, once we click save, mag-generate na ang lahat ng settings na ginawa mo and then, eto na ang kalalabasan yan. So, let's go now to the copy invitation. So, click it and then lahat ng ginawa mong settings dyan na lalabas yan. And if you want to send this link sa mga kamiting mo, just click copy meeting invitation and you can send it already. Depende kung messenger or any apps na gusto mo silang ma-invite. You just paste it if it's, if you're going to use messenger. Okay, now let's have the meeting. Let's open or start the meeting. Open Zoom. Then, so let's wait. Okay. Eto na po tayo ngayon. So, we are now here sa ating Zoom meeting. So, let's have this. So, meron ditong security. Sa under sa security, meron, uh, meron dyan mga lock meeting, enable waiting room, hide profile picture, allow participants to share screen, chat, rename themselves, unmute themselves. Okay, sa participant, nandiyan kung sino yung mga kasama mo. If you want uh, to talk or to chat something to, to the person na kasama mo sa meeting, punta ka lang sa chat box. And then, breakout room. So, ito yan. If you want to create breakout room, ayan, meron dyan pamimilian na assign automatically, assign manually, let participants choose room. And then, click create. Okay, so once we 
click create, eto na ang lalabas sa ating breakout rooms. Okay, so depende kung anong gusto mo, assign manually. Okay, and then, so let's move now. So you can also rename, delete, room, or assign, and then your room number. Now, reaction. So, meron dyang clap, thumbs up, heart, joy, open mouth, and a lot more. Meron ding raise hand. Okay, you can use this in yung uh, online classroom. Okay, so marami dyan mga emojis na pwede mong gamitin. Okay, example, thumbs up. Okay, smiley. As you can see there, dun lalabas yan. And then, let's try another thumbs up. Okay. Another is smiley. Okay, now, let's move now to the view. Ayan, yung mga view na gusto nyo. Speaker, yung pinaka uh, speaker yung nagsasalita, yan ang pinakamalaking part na makikita mo. Gallery. And then, ito na yung choose immersive view. Okay, para maganda ang settings ng inyong online Zoom or ang inyong meeting, lalagyan natin sila ng immersive view. Okay, so this time, etong immersive view na to is for the 25 participants. So, let's click. Oh, as you can see here, ayan na, lahat ng participants dyan, kapag 25, yan ang makikita nyo. Okay, so let's change. Let's go now to the another view. Okay. So, yan. Anim lang ang participants. Kung magkakaroon ka lang ng short meetings, o yung konti lang yung participants, you can use that view. Okay. Next is, far side chat sits two. Ibig sabihin, dalawa lang kayong nagmi-meeting. So, dalawa lang ang tao nandyan. Okay. Next. Another is what we call cafe. So, dalawa lang din. Next. O, oh, diba? Dalawa lang kayong magka-meeting yan. Another view or another immersive view is a classroom seats 25. Okay. So, kapag 25 ang sudyante mo, ayan na, diba? Para ka na sa classroom talaga. Online classroom. Okay, next, another is, so let's change uh, the kitchen. This is sits for two. Okay, another one is the learning pods for 24. Okay, there you go. Okay, and then let's go now to the standard. This one is the standard. Okay. So, ito yung paraan kung paano mo gagamitin o mag-change ka ng view. You can also choose dito sa view na to na mga pwedeng uh, automatically or manual. Okay. Pag-share screen naman. So, you just click share screen. So, like for example, pwede ka mamili through desktop, whiteboard, Okay, and then Google Chrome. So, naman yun ka, let's choose desktop. Kung ano ang nasa desktop mo, yan ang lalabas sa view ng mga kasama mo sa Zoom. Okay? Meron din yung annotation. So, let's annotate. Let's try. Ano ba yung makikita natin dito sa annotate? Okay, so, yung annotation, during your presentation, merong mga pwede ka magsulat. Pwede ka mag-type ng text or mag-draw. Okay, so let's try yung draw. Okay, there you go. Example. So, pwede mong gamitin yan while you are having your presentation. Kung gusto mong may isulat o kung gusto mong may i-highlight ka ng mga importante sa slide presentation mo, you can use that. Okay, so let's clear it. Clear all drawings para may erase lahat. And then, if you want to stop it, click stop share. Okay?
okay. Next is, what if, if you're going to share yung presentation mo and then make sounds? So, what will you do? So, meron ditong share sound. Click it or tick the box and then optimize for video clip. Tick it. Okay, tick the box and then yan na ang mag makikita sa presentation mo at yung view na mga participant sa Zoom meeting. Okay, now, what else? So, we have here the different um, meet set uh, settings. Okay. So, I hope natulungan ko kayo kung paano mag-set up ng meeting and then sa paggamit din ng immersive view. Okay, so thank you for watching. Sa mga hindi pa nakapag-subscribe dyan, don't forget to like and subscribe sa aking YouTube channel. Thank you.